Hello and welcome to another Tsunami Rose design team project for the month of August. I've decided to alter a pocket diary. This was uh, one of last year's pocket diaries. I just gutted the book and I've re recreated it using this month's kit and ephemera. There was a lot of florals in this month's kit and I've really enjoyed working with them and this is the first time I'm trying an altered book so I hope you like it. I've added a little charm on the side there, a little dangle. Contains hearts and crystals and pearls and a little filigree bead. I've attached the closure with a brad. I hope I'm not off screen. I'm filming off my tablet and I can't actually see the screen so I'm hoping this all stays on. As you can see, I've added, um, added a little sequin flower style embellishment. It got really chunky so I've added a little ribbon board just on the side so it still looks pretty. And that's the back. You can see the bookmark sticking out from the bottom and a few fibres along the top. So in we go. Very chunky as you can see. forgot to count the pages so I'll just put that in the description below. I've minimised all the pages and the ephemera to use in here. I'll come back to the little booklets that I've included on the side and there's some lace there. That's the pages. It's got three signatures and they're all pretty much similar just different styles of pages in them. The uh, index card that I cut up and added false stitches by hand with a pen. Tsunami Rose, um, one of the flower ephemeras which I've fuzzy cut. This is some scrapbook paper that I had left over from a project. I think it's called Botanical from Paper Mania. So I just made that into a flip out page. And I didn't fully stick it down so it's a little tuck spot as well. This is one of Tsunami Rose's tags. I left them joined together, shrank it down so it's a little bit of a flip book. Just to tuck in there. And I stamped that image and just did a bit of watercolour pencils on that. That's out of um, one of the kids' watercolour books. So the paper's a lot thicker light cream shade. Did a bit of stamping. Stamping didn't turn out so well on that one. So I added a few roses and drawed in some stems and leaves. That's some um, squared paper. That's one of the big elements that I've shrunk down so it fits like a page instead. Did another bit, a little bit of stamping there. Now, all my plain pages, I don't know whether the camera's picking it up or not. But there's just very faint script stamping that I've done, just to give it a bit, a bit of interest. That's all on, on all the blank pages. Gorgeous papers by Tsunami Rose. I have a thing for flowers anyway, so that's a doily there. I really like how everything mixes and matches with all her existing kits as well. This is actually out of one of her latest kits. It's a little pocket. Love the bike on there. Now this tag, I didn't actually stick it down. It's uh, one of the postcards and just a standard tag. I was going to emboss that, but then I thought just in case the recipient wanted to stick the postcard down instead, it's entirely up to them. So I, left, I didn't bother embossing that. Some no, um, A4 notebook paper that I've purchased with pink lines. So I've had a lot of fun cutting them up and including them in my journals. That's some more scrapbook paper. I can't remember what this kit was called, but it's, it was some 6x6 six six papers. And I had just these thin strips left over. So 
I just folded them over and inked the edges so it can uh, act like a little tag or journaling card. That's an envelope which I've popped in upside down. I those are some adverts from Tsunami Rose. I've been having fun with these. I've been using them as covers as well. I've just been cutting them up and using stickles on them and using them as covers for journals as well. So I've just backed them on some green paper. I've put scrapbook paper back there on the envelope. I've opened it from the top and I've left the bottom open as well so you can, you've got a double tuck spot there then. Some handmade embellishments. Martha Stewart punch butterfly and then I've added some stamens and a gem and then I can't remember. I think it might have been one of the tonic punches but I'm not sure. A very small, uh, two different punches which I've just added a little pearl into. The things to do, I've used that as a page here. I have also used it as ephemera in the past. A bit more stamping. Now these are the calendar plan, uh, planner pages. But um, what I did was, I was going to make it into a card first and then I thought why not has it, have it as a flip out page but it's not stuck down. I've just used a um, little paper clip there with some fibres on to hold it in. So you've got one on each side. I've included six of them so it'll give you one each for each month. This time instead of um, adding little hearts or other dangles and things in the centre of my signatures, I've used the Tsunami Rose envelopes. That one says stay positive. I added another butterfly on there. These I've done in paper, not on card. And what I've done is I've done it. I've um, punched them out in green and pink, and then I've gone over with some white gel pen to add some details on. So those are the matching note cards that go inside. And then it's just a repeat going the other way. The adverts, the flip up, lined paper, and that's a double postcard. I'll turn to a flip book. Another one of the tags, vintage tags. I've not actually inked any of the main tag. I've just added a bit of green on the edges. So that shows you, you don't need to have tea stained or coffee stained paper. Really like the big elements there. That's one of the new collections again, the pockets. Now this one, what I did was I had the note papers left from the original diary. So I just cut that out and bent it in half and turned it into a little pocket and added a foil sticker. It's a flip up as well. That's from a different set of collection. Also from Tsunami Rose. It's the other side of the doily. Little library card on the other side of that um, watercolor children's watercolor paper. Tried some stamping, but my blue ink was almost running out, so it's come out very faint there. And put another flower to tie it in with the rest. Some more stamping there. Part of an index card that I've cut down to size, and added pink stitching to by hand. That's a fuzzy cut flower. Some more of the botanical paper, scrapbook paper. This is some scraps left from some tea stained paper that I had and I just stamped the flowers onto that. Turned into a little flip book and tucked it into that. And that's the end of the first signature. So that's just one signature for you there. And the other two are similar, so I'll just flip through them. 
I won't need to explain on those. comes out again but I won't bother taking that out. The advertisements again. I really like these things to do. This. The calendar and planner sheets. Another envelope. with the matching note card inside, which I've left open again, so you've got extra journaling space. There's the original bookmark, which I reused into this again. Envelopes have a bit of a pearl effect to it as well, which I really like. The journal measures approximately, I think it was four and a quarter by maybe three and a half. I'll have to double check that, but I'll put it in the description below. Thickness, because it's got so chunky while you squash the front like that, it's about one and a half while you've uh, squashed it closed. You can still fit in a lot of writing in here and it still fits into your handbag as well. Onto the third the signature there. More scrapbook paper. Flipbook tabs. Square paper, big elements. The lined paper. Some ledger style paper, tags and postcards, and new collection pockets. That's big elements. Some more lined paper. These would be good for doing a bit of accounting or balancing of your costs or income. Scrapbook paper, flip book again. These advertisements all come in one kit as well, so you get plenty of choice within each kit and as I mentioned before, the kits are very um, cheap. They're at $2.50 for each kit, so you can mix and match what you want for your projects. You could just print out the calendar pages in a larger size and stick them in your A4 planners, uh, folders for school and college and uni. Print them out as many times as you want. You could have them in the kitchen as well, plan your meals. Days for shopping, appointments.
There's lots of others as well. Uh, I've got already got the hummingbird ones. There's some fun theme ones coming up for October as well and that are available I think in the store. You get them for Christmas as well, so you can put, you can use different ones all year round. Very chunky again. I, I can't seem to stop making the chunky journals, but I blame Daisy Collins for that. She's got such stunning papers that I have a lot of trouble deciding what to leave out. So I just end up using everything. I think I might try a couple of smaller ones instead. It's been a big craze on the mini journals on junk journal junkies as well on Facebook. And I, I was I didn't feel confident to join a swap, but I still decided to make this. It wasn't to, uh, the correct size. It was slightly larger one than what they were doing for the swap. But I'm like I said, I really enjoyed still making it. So and that's the end. Lace there again. That's acting as a pocket. Now these ones, which I've used in the front and back, they are actually covers. And at the time I'd made these. I turned them into file folders, but Daisy Collins now has some file uh, folders which are available to purchase, so you don't have to be doing this. You can just cut them out, print them and cut them out in a whole different uh, range of designs. And I think she's got a couple of sizes in. In here, what I did was I just put in all my scrap bits of paper that I had left over. And that is inspired by Sagita. Sunita, Sagita. I'm really sorry, I'm getting your name wrong, but she does amazing work. And she usually uses her leftover uh, scraps, but I am um, inspired me just to punch some different shapes out from these little bits that I'd included. So just turned into a mini booklet. Those are the actual cover designs that you can, you can use. They're full size, but I've cut them down. This was the other one, it's very similar to the back, just different designs. Same thing again, just punched out some different shapes to create some interest. Paper clips come in a few different colours. I've got some black, metallic pink and metallic green as well with the bone fibres on. That's the back. It just goes over the side again so it looks like it's a little knob closure with the bow tie. So I hope you've liked that and it's given you plenty of ideas. Thank you very much and be sure to pop over to Tsunami Rose's shop. I'll be listing this either on my Etsy or if anybody wants to get in touch to swap or to purchase, please let me know. Otherwise this will be up on my Etsy as well. Thank you for your time and I'll be back with another journal very soon. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.